you know, the brothers have to fear Allah and the sisters have to fear Allah. We're not going to bash the brothers, no, we're going to bash the sisters. Everybody has to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If the brothers fear Allah and the sisters fear Allah, alhamdulillah, there won't be any problems. Naam. And one of the issues that we find, we're living in a time where you have, for example, you have men, yes, some men, they go to extremes with the authority Allah Azza has given them. When Allah Azza he said, Rijal qawwamuna ala nisa. Naam, men are in charge, uh, have a responsibility over the women. Yes, because they, Allah Azza has made it an obligation. You have to provide for your family accommodation. You have to provide for them clothing and food and other than that. But that doesn't mean that you're an oppressor in your household. That doesn't mean that you're an oppressor and you mistreat your wife. No, that's not the sign of the good believer. Because the Prophet Sallallahu said, Khayrukum, the best of you, are the best of you to your families. And I'm the best of you to my family. So look, khayriya, being a good man, is being good to your wife. So yes, the brothers, all of, we need to fear Allah Azza But also the sisters, some of them, not all of them, have been polluted by this feminist movement. So the husband says, you know, sister, I need you to do such and such. You can't tell me anything. Who wants a house like that? You go home, it's a hard day outside, and you go right to a battle. No respect. When there's no respect, the house is going to collapse. Children, they see the mother and the father, they argue, no respect, it's going to collapse. It collapse. So yes, if the sisters fear Allah, and they, are, they strive to be pious, and the brothers fear Allah, and they strive to be pious, then alhamdulillah, we have the hadith of the Prophet wasallam that tunkahal mar'a li arba' that a woman is married for four things. And the most important, the Prophet wasallam he said, marry the one who has a religion, that's more important than anything else from the other qualities that it's permissible to marry for. The one who has a religion, meaning she submits and surrenders to the book and the sunnah. Likewise, the men, again, it's not just the women, it's the men as well. If somebody go, approaches a woman, approaches the guardian, because the origin is you go to the guardian, the Prophet wasallam said, إِذَا أَتَاكُمْ مَنْ تَرَضَوْنَ دِينَهُ وَخُلَقَهُ فَزَوِّجُوهُ If there comes to you a man and he proposes to he proposes to your daughter or somebody under your authority and you are pleased with their religion and their character, then marry them to that woman. And if you do not do that, there will be corruption in the earth and there will be chaos. There will be tribulations. So yes, everyone just has to fear Allah. And inshallah ta'ala, you will see khair and you will see barakah. And may Allah bless our sisters to find righteous husbands and our brothers to find righteous wives. But how can you expect to have a wife that behaves like Aisha and you don't behave like Abu Bakr? How can you expect the sister that you want a husband like Abu Bakr but you're not behaving like Aisha? We all have to fear Allah Azza wa Jal, all of us. And if we fear Allah, Alhamdulillah, that is the best enjoyment. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said that's more precious than gold and silver. He said a wife, a, a believing wife, that will aid him in his faith. He said, that's more precious than gold and silver. This world is enjoyment. The best enjoyment is a righteous wife. Better than gold and silver. A righteous husband, better than gold and silver. Righteous wife, better than gold and silver. Make this world, even at difficult times, you will have that level of support. Look, the Prophet wasallam. he was married to Khadija radiallahu anha. Even after she died, he will remember her because of her support and her respect. Naam, and her qualities, and he would still remember her and her friends because of that time. But if, for example, the wife is tormenting the husband in the house, or the husband is tormenting the wife, you're going to want to run away from that, not be in it. May Allah protect us from that. Naam.